we can't talk about security commands without talking about our friend SE Linux. I'm not going to go into a ton about SE Linux today because we have whole episodes dedicated to SE Linux. If we jump into the terminal, the, the like most simplistic SE Linux command, SE status, right? Am I running SE Linux or not? And if I am running it, what mode is it running in and what policy is it using? I like SE status as the SE Linux status. This machine is running enabled, meaning that it is actually using the policy. If you look down in the middle of the output, it says current mode. Or let me highlight that right there. It's actually an enforcing mode. The other way that you could run it is permissive mode where the rules are checked, but not enforced. So you get logging and other stuff if things are violating the SE Linux policy. Enforcing, it's checking the policy, but also enforcing the rule set. So if something is denied by the policy, it's actually denied on this machine. The other kind of interesting thing for basic stuff is this, the policy name. So by default, Red Hat Enterprise Linux machines, I think Fedora as well, use the targeted policy. Specific daemons and processes are targeted by SE Linux. There are other policies that you can use, but targeted is the default because it chooses specific actions to protect you and your services. It's pretty widely applicable. We've used this for decade, more like 15 or 20 years now. So it's really well, well used and worn in and like we know all the bits. I got to be honest. I don't even know what SE Linux would look like in a policy other than targeted. I've never used one. <laughs> uh, so it is far less nice. If you do something like an MLS policy where you're actually using user-based policies where this user can open this file, but not that file, regardless of what the permissions might be, things get really scary really fast, which is why we keep targeted as the default. Sounds good to me. I'm going to stick with targeted unless I ever find myself in a reason that I shouldn't. <laughs> If you're new to SE Linux, I'll tell you what the status is. A lot of people yeah. are like, oh, I just turned it off. Don't just turn it off. But if you're having a problem and you're worried about being SE Linux, you can use SE status to see whether it's on or off. The muscle memory command I have for this is get enforce, which gives you a lot less data, but it does give you whether it's enforcing or not. Enforcing permissive or disabled. I used to use this in a command prompt script. This was when we were still working on moving from the let's just turn SE Linux off to the let's turn SE Linux on phase. We had an intelligent prompt that would say whether SE Linux was on or not, mainly because it changed the way you troubleshoot problems. If SE Linux was off, you didn't even have to think about certain troubleshooting steps when things were getting weird. But if it was on, there's another layer of stuff you need to check into if things aren't working correctly. And it took us a while to get used to that. <laughs> so... Basic SE Linux, if you want more in Linux, we actually have two or three episodes that go into a tedious right. detail on working with it.